Fu, or they are one of the weak vowels paired with one of the strong vowels, A, E, or O. For example, let's take another look at the word patio, which is pronounced differently but means the same thing and is spelled the same way in both Spanish and English. In English, we make patio a three-syllable word. Patio. In Spanish, the I and the O sort of blend together into one sound, making patio a two-syllable word. Patio. Aguacate. Aguacate. Ciudad. Ciudad. Okay, review time. There are 27 letters in the Spanish alphabet. 26 of them are the same as in English, and the extra one is the letter ñ. The vowels sound like this. A is A, E is A, I is E, O is O, and U is U. And those spectacular consonant rules, you want to remember them, they go like this. One, B and V are both pronounced B, like in venir and buena. C followed by an E or I is pronounced S, like in cena and cine. C followed by an A, O, or U is pronounced K. G is pronounced G, as in green gobs of greasy gopher guts. <laughs> H is pronounced right, because H is silent. J is pronounced like a strong English H, like in juntos and joven. Double L is pronounced ya, like in yabe. A, the N with a tilde over it is pronounced ña, like in año and niño. Nine, Q is pronounced k, like in quinto and querido. Ten, and finally, R is pronounced rrr, and you can trill it in words like carro and burro. Well, that does it for our look at the alphabet and pronunciation. After this, you'll never look at a diphthong the same way again. We hope you've enjoyed your little trip through the world of Spanish pronunciation. Thanks for watching Standard Deviant School. I'm Kenyatta Rogers. And I'm Tessa Monroe. Hasta luego.